Being to order. Roll call, please. Here. 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 Are there any conflict of interest statements? No. No. Item four, approval of the minutes of meeting April 12th, 2018. A motion to defer the reading of the minutes from April 12th. A second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Item five, correspondence. A, correspondence received from Comcast requesting permission to perform work along Michigan Street to service 2204 Michigan. Said most of these, yeah, most of these have all been vetted. In, 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 yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. All right. A motion to approve the request uh, for Comcast. A second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Item B: Correspondence received from AT&T requesting permission to perform work at Cleveland Street and Monroe Avenue. A motion to approve the request from AT&T. A second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Item C, correspondence received from AT&T requesting permission to perform work at Calumet Avenue and Fayette Street. This one does not have a mark. They were all, oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. okay. Uh, motion to approve the AT&T request for Calumet and Fayette. I second. All those in favor? Item D, correspondence received from AT&T requesting permission to perform work at 1541 173rd Street. A uh, motion to approve AT&T's request. A second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Item E, correspondence received from AT&T requesting permission to perform work at Hickory Avenue and Hoffman Street. Motion to approve AT&T's uh, request for Hickory and Hoffman. A second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Item F, bid recommendation received from SEH of Indiana for the 6th District Local Street Project, Colorado Avenue, Delaware Avenue, Nevada Avenue, and New Jersey Avenue lighting improvements to low bidder Hawk Enterprises, Inc. at a cost of $592,705.30. Do I have a motion to approve the recommendation? A uh, motion to approve the recommendation. I second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Item G, correspondence received from Earth Explorations, Inc., requesting permission to perform a geotechnical evaluation for the Marquette Greenway, DES number 1601145. Has engineering reviewed this? Yes. I'm, I'm not familiar with it. I'm not sure if Dean has looked at it. Um, Looks like it might have come to us through them, so. I think um, Mark might have I taken a look. Mark, I think Mark looked better. Okay. Okay. Do I have a motion to approve the request? A motion to approve um, the request. A second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Item H, correspondence received from 2nd District Councilman Pete Torres requesting 60000 of gaming funds be allocated for the Columbia Park Improvement Project. This has been signed by the mayor already. A uh, motion to approve the councilman's request. A second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Item I, Platt of Cabela's Gateway, second addition to the City of Hammond, submitted for ratification. I think we signed it already. Yeah, this yeah. is the one we did. So this has uh, been reviewed by our city planner, Brian Poland. We did sign this in advance. They needed it for a closing, and now we are going to ratify the, the approval of that plat. A uh, motion to approve the uh, uh, Gateway plat for Cabela's. I second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Item J, correspondence received from Chief of Police John Doty requesting Nicholas Gould, Cody Baker, Ronald Davidson, and Jeremy Sandilla be appointed as probationer members of the Hammond Police to serve one year probationary period effective April 17th, 2018. Approvals of the Old Glory Tavern birthday party on April 28th, 2018. First Baptist Church blocking Oakley Street and State Street on April 29th, 2018. And Boy Scout cleanup and disposal authorizations. Motion to approve the uh, police chief's request. A second. All those in favor? Aye. 
Item K, resolution regarding a, a lease purchase agreement for the purpose of financing license plate reader system. This is for the second order of the LPR cameras. It was previously approved through the council in resolution 18R-13 to fund from 2019 gaming funds. This lease allows us to purchase the equipment now and repay the lease with the gaming funds in 2019. Do I have a motion to approve? Motion to approve the resolution. Or second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Item L, rental registration hearing on property located at 4226 Wabash. And this is the one that the homeowner requested a continuance. Do we have any uh, objection to that? Do you have a date? Do I have a motion to continue the hearing until May 10th, 2018? Motion to continue till May 10th, 2018. I second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Item M, rental registration hearing on property located at 6436 Woodard Avenue. Is the homeowner present? Hello, everyone. Good morning. Uh, Good morning. We have this owner uh, listed as uh, Mr. Juan Reyes, correct? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, Mr. Reyes uh, purchased the property in 2015 uh, per water. Uh, we had we showed that uh, there was a tenant uh, as of October of 17. So we're looking for uh, registration for 2017 as well. You know, after that, he can register for 2000. Well, as well as 2018. Yeah. You did not register for 18. I did yet? not. Uh, I was. Uh, 20 years old when I purchased the house and I really didn't know that I needed uh, renters um, like they were charging to rent. <clears throat> so as soon as I found out, I made sure that, you know, I was able to hurry up and do everything as possible. That's why I'm here now. So you did have a renter in there no. at, some yeah, at some point in 2017 and in 2018? Yes, I, uh, yeah, 2018, yeah, no. Okay. That's why as soon as I did, I think February is when I came in. Okay. That's when I made the hearing today. And um, one unit? One unit, correct. So you're looking for 17 and then obviously? Yes. You 17 and 18. All right, I motion to uh, waive the late fee. You will have to register the unit for 2017 at a cost of $5, as well as 2018 and any year subsequent going forward. Roger that. Okay. And if you, fine. Do I have a second? I second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 And if you want to stay after the meeting, you can take care of this today. Okay, okay. perfect. Thank you. Item N, rental registration hearing on property located at 6941 Wicker Avenue and 1644 174th Street. Is the property owner present? Wicker and 174th Street? Ms. Blanda? No. Uh, yeah, I know. Um, we have uh, both uh, as owned by uh, Mr. Alfredo de Anda. Um, we'll start with 6941 Wicker. Uh, it is one unit. Uh, he's owned it since 16. Uh, he did register for 16 and 18. He did not register for 17. We're gonna take one at a time. Uh, what's the what's the story on the 1644 under 74? 1644. There's no issue here. Has been registered every year. I'm not sure why it was added. So we, did, we missed 17 only on. Only 17 on 6941 Wicker. Nothing prior to 2016 for Nothing. 6941 Wicker. Uh, as far as rental goes. As far as rental, it was rented out. Uh, he purchased the property in 2006. Oh, okay. <clears throat> and you haven't spoken to him to understand what may have happened in 2007 not made whatsoever. No. But he's registered. He's not registered for 18 yet, right? He is registered or he is. for for both for both units, correct? So the only thing that that we have is he's not registered for 2017 for 6941 Wicker. Okay, um, I'm going to motion that he's uh, charged a late fee for 2017 plus the $5 for the rental. That's my motion. I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Item O, rental registration hearing on property located at 7412 Columbia. Is the property owner present? Yes. Good morning. Uh, we have this listed as uh, owned by Mr. Hutton. Yes. Mr. Hutton, okay. Uh, did not register for 2017 uh, or 18. Uh, he did have a late judgment in 2014. Um, we have it as, uh, is the address correct? At 
15926 West 81st Avenue. Correct. Uh, yeah, street. This is one unit, did not register for 17 or 18. Okay, um, I'd like to put forth the classic, the dog ate my homework uh, defense. We have two Mastiff puppies, well they were last year, and they destroyed my wife's planner thing that she keeps track of all this kind of stuff in. And I didn't, <clears throat> we didn't notice it last year, because we, we, by the way, we're not getting any kind of notice. I know my son owns some properties in Hammond, <clears throat> and this happened to me when my mother died a couple of years ago. So that was the other thing, uh, the last late thing that we got. And uh, when I came in to register, she said, well, you haven't done it in 17 either. I said, well, we never got a notice. Don't you send those out? And she says, well, some people get them, some people don't. So I don't know how that happens, but this isn't the kind of thing that we stay up with. It's a $5 fee that we're, it's not part of our daily lives. We pay our bills, I'd be glad to pay it 20 years in advance, you know, for this kind of a minute uh, charge, but we were not noticed on it. And again, the, the pups ate this whole book, and I noticed this year, I'm like, well, did, did we get a notice on the property yet? She goes, no, and she looked in her checkbook, she says, we didn't get any last year either. So when I came in, that's when I was made aware that we owed for last year and this year. And the correct address is 15926 West 181st Avenue in Dyer? Not 181st, 81st. 81st. I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. Yeah, 81st Avenue. So that, that's why you're not getting your notice. Apparently. Because it's going to the incorrect address. And, yeah. and part of the reason why we have you come in and register is so that we can update that. That information. Well, we've lived so there for we have 20 years. It hasn't changed or anything, so I don't know where. So it if it's my writing 81st. or 81st. 81st Avenue. It's West 81st. And then when I came in before, they wouldn't let me pay this year until the other thing was taken care of. Okay. Um, anything else? Jaime? Yeah. Any issues with this property? No issues, sir. All right, I'm going to waive the late fee for 2017. You need to register the unit for 2017 and I appreciate 2018 it. and every year going forward. Yeah, we're, we're not trying to dodge the $5 thing. You know, it's silly. Well, and, and you know, so part of the reason why we do this is not just to collect the fee, but also that we have good information so that if there is an emergency course, situation yeah. that we have our police and firemen who know what they're going into. And he just read that address, that. and I, I thought he said it the correct way. I didn't know that it was different. So Sorry. We will update your file to make sure that you are getting your notification card. Do I have a second on that motion? A second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. And if you'd like to stay after the meeting, um, you can take care of that today. Okay. Oh, okay. Great. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Item P, correspondence received requesting rental registration hearings. They've got a few of these. All of them? All of them? <laughs> All of them? Okay. What day? <laughs> June 7th. Are you guys going to be here? That might not now. <laughs> Motion to approve these uh, regi re rental registration hearings for June 7th. I second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Item Q, specific finding of fact and decision on property located at 3004 Crane Place. I'm just asking the board of... Oh. I didn't think I had that effect on people anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm just asking the board to please approve this. Uh, this is a situation where the property became a rental after the expiration of the deadline. Okay. Uh, motion to approve the specific finding of fact. I second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Very well said. Item R, order to rescind, order to remove illegal units at 4409 Johnson Avenue. I actually need the Board of Works to please sign this one because, as luck would always have it, the closing on the property is today, and this is a cloud on the title, and so I'm asking the Board to please rescind this order so that we can get it to the title company today. Motion to approve the order to rescind. Or second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Item S, contract for demolition services with Gary Material Supply for the demolition of 7602 Linden Avenue at a cost of $8,500. And this one is part of the BEP Hardest Hit Program. 
Motion to approve the contract. I second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Item T, garage, garage sale permit submitted for approval. Motion to approve the garage sale permit. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Item six, matters from other board members? No? no. Seven, matters from other department heads or the representatives? Yes, yes. First of all, I'm a, I'll let Jaime go, but first of all, I would be remiss in my duties as a friend if I didn't publicly embarrass Kevin Smith and announce to everybody it's his birthday today. He's 49. Oh, happy birthday, <laughs> Kevin nice. Smith. Thank you very much. All right, go ahead. You can do the real stuff. Hello again. Um, morning. Morning. Uh, I want to bring up uh, Mr. Barraza is here. Uh, he was actually the one that we continued. I believe it was continued. I I'm not sure for what date. Um, I guess he was supposed to be here on March 29th, and he didn't show uh, for a property at 7539 Madison as far as rental registration. What was the address again, Jaime? 7539 Madison. I know it was continued uh, when I was here uh, about a month ago, but this I think- This is the one that was continued today, is it? Uh, no. Oh, uh, okay. I don't think so. No, no. I thought that was the name. Oh, no. I'm wrong. Okay. So upon research uh, back then, uh, when uh, we set it out for two weeks when I was here, before I left, um, he, uh, I did uh, do some research and find out that he did live uh, at 937 Becker, uh, where his uh, license you know, shows, uh, and the other uh, units were rented uh, and uh, and registered. Um, I guess the one in question now is 7539 Madison. Uh, it uh, needed to be registered for 2017. Uh, it was registered every other year, uh, but I guess he was supposed to show on the 29th, perhaps, of March uh, is when uh, this was entered, and uh, he was given a, a $500 late fee. Uh, he said he was not aware that he was supposed to show at that time, um, and, and he forgot. So he's here um, in good faith showing that, you know, it is registered. He does know that he has to register 417. at this point has that already gone through a process that we can't pull back is it too far out I mean I know we're right at the beginning of rental registration season so they're this, probably this overloaded was March. I wasn't at that meeting I missed that meeting so I'm not exactly sure what happened I'd have to look at the minutes uh, but if the appeal was denied and he hasn't yet paid we could always grant the appeal now okay it's just a new one any issues with this property uh, not not that I'm aware of this is actually brought to me as soon as I came this morning. Yeah, he's just saying he didn't get it right away. Oh. He's saying he didn't get it right away. Right. I'm willing to take up the appeal. Yeah. Okay. okay. Do I have a motion on this uh, appeal? Do I have a motion on the appeal request? <coughs> motion to what? Move um, tonight or to, a, to grant the appeal. Motion to grant the appeal. And I second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Can we, um, do we have a form? We can complete. So if you have them stay so we can take care of that today and make sure yeah. we get the correct information since we don't have it before us. Absolutely. Thank you. Any other uh, matters from other department heads or their representatives? Any new business? Old business? The meeting is open to the public if anybody would like to speak. Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn the meeting. I second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye.